Donald Trump's remarks about Iran launching missiles at Israel and his claim of a lack of leadership in the White House reflect deep concerns over national security and the need for strong leadership. By describing Joe Biden and Kamala Harris as not existent, Trump taps into a broader conservative belief that the current administration is not only inefficient, but indifferent to critical international crises. In situations involving national security or the safety of allies like Israel, there is often a call for visible and decisive leadership. The world right now is spiraling out of control. You might not have seen what's happened because it was a few hours ago. A lot of people were here, so many people outside, which we appreciate. But a lot of people were here a short time ago. Iran launched 181 ballistic missiles at Israel. And uh, we, we just, it's, I've been talking about World War III for a long time. And I don't want to make predictions because the predictions always come true. We're not going to make, but they are very close to global catastrophe. We have a non-existent president and a non-existent vice president who should be in charge, but nobody knows what's going on. She was at a fundraiser in San Francisco, a city that she totally destroyed, by the way. San Francisco was the best city in the country maybe 20 years ago. And today you can't even, you can't even go there. You can't even live there. And I speak against myself because I own property there. I shouldn't be saying that. I should say it's the greatest place in the world. Let's sell my property. But I say it's, uh, I don't know, maybe it stages a comeback, but it's its literally uh, not livable. And 20 years ago, it was the best city in the country, probably one of the best cities anywhere in the world. But they, uh, you know, she was caught yesterday on an airplane staging a fake photo op. Did you see that with the telephone? The only problem is she didn't have the phone plugged in. You know, she was talking. She's talking on the phone. The phone is not plugged in. He's talking like she's working. You know, I'm working so hard. Oh, boy, what a group. What a group. Trump's criticism underscores a public anxiety over weak foreign policy and the perceived decline of U.S. influence on the global stage. Many conservatives argue that the domestic and international policies of the Democratic Party are both ineffective and damaging. A specific example is Kamala Harris attending a fundraiser in San Francisco a move seen by some as indicative of leadership failure at a time of global crisis. There's a strong preference among these critics for order, strength, and assertive action, which they feel is missing in the current administration, particularly as Iran launches missiles toward Israel. Trump's framing of the situation amplifies this need for leadership that takes charge in moments of global instability. He positions himself as the voice of those who see national security as a priority that should supersede political maneuvering or personal agendas. His critique suggests that the absence of active leadership, especially in times of international threats, poses a danger to both the nation and its allies. In this light, Trump presents Biden and Harris as absent figures, disconnected from the gravity of the crisis. By highlighting missile strikes, and the looming threat of a third world war, Trump plays on public fears of a breakdown in security and order. His rhetoric channels growing unrest, casting the current administration as responsible for the chaos and global risks that many feel are escalating. His portrayal suggests that real leadership requires not just presence, but active participation in handling global crises. Trump's critique points to a perceived vacuum in leadership, arguing that this lack of action and involvement is what ultimately puts the nation and the world at risk.